what's up youtube electric kicks here back at it again with another video and today we have something different we're going to be going over the air jordan one lost and found chicago's right here and i was super super excited to get this shoe uh chicago being one of the original colorways uh, i did need it i was hunting it down for my collection and yeah i will say when i saw the shoe in person it looks way better the images do not do it justice even though it does look great in the images but the shoe looks way better um uh, i am gonna go over the shoe gonna be doing an on feet today we're gonna be going over the resale when you should buy when you should sell all of that and yeah i'm also just gonna do a quick comparison to like an 85 cut just so we can see how it compares back to an original one but yeah let's go ahead and get started now, starting with the box, Air Jordan 1 box. Now, it's going to be a little bit different. Everything else looks similar, just a little bit faded, a little bit beat. But the cover, the cover, the whole story behind the Lost and Found is that, like, you went into, like, a storage room or something and you found a pair of 85s, Jordan 1s. And this is what they think the box is supposed to look like. I feel like it fades or, like, you know how like the sun can sometimes discolor things realistically that's not how they look like if you go back and like there's people who source 85s the boxes do not look like this so yeah a little weird but the cool story behind it though now on the side of the box as you can see this is a size 9 that's not my personal size my personal size is on the way but you know we'll still be able to get a pair in hand a day of so that's pretty cool has these little tags right here paid and let's go ahead and open this up inside the box comes this cool little receipt from sandy bros sports depot now the date is august 30th 86 and i think the paid price i don't know if that says 64.99 on there but jordan ones they weren't selling out like they are today he was a brand new player for the chicago balls he was a rookie brand new shoe a lot of people actually didn't care about this shoe no matter what people tell you like the shoe was sitting like these yeah they were expensive at the time but they were sitting on shelves they went on sale but yeah that's this is kind of how it went back then because you know rookie you know nobody kind of knew who he was so it's like who's gonna go out and buy a shoe over other players now here are some sport magazines pretty much in the paper of the shoe and it just has a whole bunch of stuff like nike air jordan has landed a nike sale just a whole bunch of stuff from the 80s so that's really really cool and there that they added that little touch to kind of bring back the 80s to us on the paper let's go back into the shoe uh, air jordan one lost and found starting out with the outsole we do get that red outsole but i don't know if you guys can tell it's a little bit faded on there so it's pretty much to give us that aged look going on to the midsole it is going to be white it's going to be your regular air jordan one midsole it's not going to be an 85 midsole if you compare it to an 85 midsole you guys can kind of tell the different shape on there um it's still a nice midsole but you know you're not getting that 85 midsole so i don't know i thought personally they should have made an 85 but they didn't they just decided to make this reimagined one there are hints to it that do look like an 85 but there's also hints to it that look more kind of like the 1995 re-release but we'll go ahead and get into that a little bit later now starting with the toe box you do get this chicago red toe box now you also do get this cracked leather on the white now i will say it's not that noticeable like when you actually see it it doesn't look cracked at all it's like just little indentions textures and everything on there now on the side panel you kind of do get that texture as well for the cracked leather now in terms of the quality of the leather i was actually kind of disappointed i was expecting something nice soft buttery i don't know if they're trying to i don't know what an 85 feels like i haven't held one in a while but the quality and the cut of the leather it's, it's pretty good, but it's not that good. Like, it's nothing crazy. I'm not going to compare it to Shattered Backboards. I'm not going to compare it to my 85s right here because they're nowhere close to the quality that those have. Overall, though, 
still a solid shoe. A black swoosh. Now, going on to the Wings logo right here. It's going to be debossed, embossed. I'm not quite sure which one, but it's not going to be like that pressed on version that we do get on regular Jordan 1s. It kind of has like that debossed where it's like sticking out a little bit. Uh, I think it looks better. I think it feels better, but that may just be personal preference. Going to the tongue, we do get that yellow foam on the tongue, so a little bit of that aged look. Now, this shoe came with two laces laced onto them. Well, it was unlaced, but two laces. They actually came with a pair of white laces. I put on the black laces. I think they look better with the black laces, but it's cool that they give us those two options on there. I think in the previous release for 2015, I think they came with three laces. I'm not quite sure if they came with red laces as well. I don't recall, but nonetheless, multiple options. Switch it up a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. So that's cool. Now, the one part that I didn't like about this shoe, on the back, on the collar, you have that like super faded cracked look all around. And when you look at 85 pairs, like some of them look like that, but a lot of pairs don't look like that. There's like bigger spots that are like missing and it's a little bit darker. I personally didn't like that part. I wear baggier pants, it's gonna cover it up so it doesn't really matter to me, but that is one thing that I didn't like about it. Now, for the tongue, it doesn't go as high, it goes more like a regular Jordan 1 to the height of where it ends up. For the 85 cuts, the original Air Jordan 85s actually ended up higher of the shoe, so kind of one thing why this is not an 85 cut. The swoosh is bigger though on this pair, so in comparison to the 85 cut, you do get that bigger swoosh, but it's, I don't know, I feel like they kind of messed up on the shaping it still looks great still looks super nice but i wish we got an 85 cut of this shoe unfortunately we didn't but overall still great shoe now i want to go ahead and talk about the resale for the shoe retailed at 180 instantly sold out it was actually difficult for me to get i had some friends they were hitting on like four or five pairs on sneakers app and all of that this is the shoe that had the most stock. I believe it was 500,000 pairs for Jordan 1, which is the most ever produced. If you want the shoe, right now, prices are sitting around 400, 3, 350, 450, 500, depending on the size. Larger sizes are going for more. Smaller sizes are going for around like 350 to 400. Now, I will say, don't buy it right now. Don't, don't impulse buy it. Wait for online orders to come in one week from now when people get their pairs from sneakers, uh, Champs, Foot Locker, all the online orders. Prices are going to go down. So you have a lot of impulse buying, so that's why prices go up. So I would say if you want the pair, wait about a week. Uh, you know, you'll save yourself some money. If you want it right now, go ahead and buy it right now. Local resellers are going to be the best option. Don't go to sneaker stores. The prices are going to be upmarked. You can find a better price most likely locally from a reseller uh another thing if you want to invest in the shoe this is going to be a great shoe i wouldn't say buy right away like i said wait a week price is going to drop a little bit i would start buying then to invest and hold on to it it's a chicago colorway it's going to do super super good in the future so i'm hoping for the prices to drop next week i want to get myself a second pair one's going to be to rock and one i'm gonna probably stock and keep it in storage but yeah um uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and let's go ahead and get onto that on feet review